What is going on guys? Today we are talking about ships and the activities that go along with them in Ashes of Creation. Keep in mind that all of this info is subject to change, but when you're setting out on your ocean adventures, you'll be able to pick from one of three ship sizes. The small ship being for solo content, the medium ships for group content, and the large ships for raid content. Once you decide what ship size you want to take, gather your crew if needed and head to the harbors, as harbors and ports are the only place you can summon your ship in ashes. You will also be able to pick up naval base quests while in the harbor as well as upgrading your ship. To find a harbor you will need to look for a node that is developed near the ocean as harbors and ports are a result of these nodes. On the seas there will be all sorts of activities from PvE to PvP to pick from so picking the right ship class will be important as picking the size of it. There will be ship types of different classes just like a player and the examples that they've given so far is that a ship might be meant for crowd control using harpoons to slow down enemies. There will also be trade ships used to transport goods across bodies of water. I'm assuming these will be tied to the economic nodes. Intrepid has said that they are toying with the idea of caravans being able to transform into trade ships as well if needed but it wouldn't be an instant thing and would require X amount of time once the caravan reaches the harbor. Intrepid has also said that they are toying with the idea of fishing boats, allowing players to go out and catch various sea creatures where they could take these goods and then go trade them in the markets. For the player, there will also be a Mariner class, where players can earn XP from doing various activities on the sea and spec can do skill trees to further improve their abilities. Some of these examples of abilities are improvement on the gunnery skill, piloting, navigation, boat repairs, ship components, defensive skills, and utility-based skills. When getting involved with PvP, be careful as other players can hijack certain ships. Trade ships will not be able to be hijacked though as they need to be completely destroyed to loot them. In combat, ships will be equipped with arcane weapons to aid you in your battles such as siege weapons and potion launchers. What do you guys think of ships in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments below and as always stay tuned for a lot more news to come.